one. Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359. Welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet Deadlocked. Last time, we completed the Vindicator Tournament and managed to get Clank's Dreadzone Collar off. Unfortunately, Al was shot in the process and Clank was forced to put it back on. So, now that we're a Vindicator, I think it's time we vindicate the rest of Dreadzone and make them pay for what they did to Al. But, since we are now a Vindicator, as always, there are new challenges for the Dreadzone challenges. We are almost to the end of this game, actually. We are well over halfway through the game. And it's honestly a lot shorter than I thought. So, our next challenges, we have High Grounder and the Corkscrew. So, in tonight's challenge, Ratchet must ascend to the Tower of Power once more. But this time, we let our Arena Engineering interns construct the path. Let's see what those lovable scamps came up with. Oh, great interns. And one. Oh, no. Oh, no. You've got to be shitting me. The camera! The cameras! Oh no, I can't see. Alright, we're gonna go down. I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna live. Has he lied? To himself. Alright, so! Uh, the interns designed this one. And the interns are stupid, apparently. Oh boy. Now, you might be wondering, why am I saying that? That's because normally Dallas has a voice clip that goes right there. What ended up happening to me? I died. How did I die? Um, probably put that in, in all honesty, because that, that was a journey. With what I ended up doing, I did something I thought I couldn't do, to say the least. So, we have to climb up the Tower of Power, and believe me, the hardest part about this is timing on a certain platform. Right, uh, keep going through Boss, this. Just a reminder, tomorrow is kick your best friend in the pants day. Free popcorn for everyone who participates. Is it every day kick your friend in the pants day? Is it every time Dallas constantly says that? So I'm going to just assume it is. Sweet, level up to level five. I need this so badly. Right, out of my way. There we go. That got rid of you, and I got rid of everyone else. So. One, two, three. All right. All right, keep going forward. Whoop! Going up. Shoot. Uh, it's times like this I really wish I had Clank for platforming. I, I really miss him for platforming. Oh, there's the other enemies. I was wondering why the track wasn't moving forward. There we go. That should take care of that, so we Ow! Okay, I did not need to lose that much health. Because I think it's... This one right here. This jump I hate. Because of the timing, but I think I got the timing perfectly. I am the best! Right, keep going upward. And now we've got a fun part. A grind rail section. This is where I ended up screwing up last time, ladies and gentlemen. After what happened. That was a journey, to say the least. And whoop. Ow. I didn't need to do that. I like a challenge, I guess. I handicap myself for these guys because they're so weak. All right, that time I managed to make it. Oh, thank you. So much help. Come on. Kill them all. Gotta kill them all. And I'm out. That's not good. Okay, perfect. Alright, uh, get everyone out of the way on this one. As I missed. Die. 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 There's still one enemy left. I've noticed that this game does that a lot. It ends the challenge when there's still another enemy left. That is just so bizarre for me. I don't understand why they do that. But now we have the corkscrew. Grind to the top of the infamous Dreadzone corkscrew can be trying during even the best of times. Or at least it will be the corkscrew once it's finished. For now, it's impossible. Oh, that's just nice. And I know I butchered the reading of that, but... What, what, what do you want from me? All right, folks, here's a Dread Zone favorite. Team Dark Star will have to shoot the grind rail calibration orbs in order to align the track. Oh, good luck. 
Huh, that's rather interesting. So I have to shoot all the stuff right here. So then... Um, okay, I guess I just ride the grind rail right now? I think I do. Hmm. Run, ratchet, run. Okay, there we go. Alright, so shoot all these. Five, and there we go. That calibrated them all. So, time to go. I'm going to have uh, Merc and Green take care of those guys while I go on a grinding adventure. As I almost missed that rail. And then plummet to my death. Alright, and looks like we got round two right here. So, fusion rifle, and bang. 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 There we go. Oh boy, not good. Uh, not these guys again, I hate these guys. Alright, now, where is the first one for the... Because the dual vipers are pretty Three, four, nope, that's not the right thing I want to shoot. I want to shoot these things. I just want to shoot the grind rails, because then I can just end this challenge without having to do anything. Right, and on to the next one, as uh, the guy is inside the stadium on the stands. Right, and jump. Come on, next one. Uh, there is a King Leviathan that is right behind me, as I will ignore him. There we go. That got everything up, so going up. Whee! Whee! I completely did not notice that there are rails to the side for this. Or I just fall down. Okay, that's what I do. Whee! I can't go forward. I think he... Oh my god, the King Leviathan actually managed to calibrate it for me. Wow, thanks. <laughs> wow. And this actually takes me to the end, too. Thank you, King Leviathan. I knew there was a reason why I didn't kill you. Oh, great. It's never that easy. Is it? Die. Die. Here we go. Die. I missed. Die. Die. Oh. Is clearly much too dangerous to be set Die. He must be Die. Die. Ow. Not oh, great. I got a bunch of these guys all over the place now. There we go. And that takes care of that. So that pretty much completes the Dread Zone challenges for right now, which means until the Liberator Tournament, we are done. Who knows, I might end up combining this into the last episode since I normally tend to do that. Then again, I haven't, I'm just power recording through everything. I haven't actually edited anything yet. I'm gonna have fun. All right, so anything new? Nope, okay. Going forward, on to our next planets. But first things first, let's buy the ammo. And I suppose I will buy those Omega mods in time. No, I'm gonna save up for everything for the combat bots. All right, so let's go to our next planet, which should be Stygia. Planet Stygia is now available for travel. And as you can see, we have the Liberator Tournament. I have more than enough points. In fact, I am coming close to the top of beating Ace Hardlight's points at this point. So let's go now to Stygia. Tonight on Vox. It's a very special episode of Dread Zone. Planet Stygia. It's a world ravaged by continual meteor storms. Why, if not for Stygia's powerful defense shield, the entire planet would be decimated in a matter of hours. But somebody dismantled the shield's power supply. Who would do such a horrible thing to the poor people of Stygia? I don't know. But it sure makes for good reality HV. <laughs> Stay tuned for the hottest episode of Dread Zone yet. And if you live on Stygia, the last one. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm, I wonder who could have dismantled it. I wonder. But if I remember correctly, because uh, it's been a while since, like, the last time I fully played through Ratchet Deadlock was probably 2009, in all honesty. That was five years ago. I remember Stygia for its environment and how it looked. Planet Stygia, a beautiful world with pink sand beaches, friendly service, and giant meteor storms pummeling the surface. We're live from the Tempest Control Station, thousands of feet above the ground, where powerful meteor shields protect the people below. But not today, because we've turned them off. Can Team Darkstar destroy the jamming devices and save Stygia? Only time will tell in this final round, as the fate of an entire planet rests in their hands. Oh my god. Alright, so destroy the force field generators, go forward. Alright, so I cut out the first one for this because, again, this is something that I hate in this game. When you die, you start at the beginning. I was at the end of the mission and I died. Albeit, it was my fault. But, still. And what's worse is, I used up my Ravager as well, so I could have showed you the beta Ravager. Oh well, I, I can show you it off another time, but right now I gotta deal with these things. Because the problem with this mission is it's a mission to where you're stuck entirely inside the Landstalker. You can't get out of it at all. So unfortunately, you gotta deal with things like this, where you just gotta keep charging. And I, at this point, I liked them at first, but I'm starting to notice that this game has a lot more repeat missions like a lot of them i mean the campaigns are unique i will give them that but something like this i've already done on catacron 4 and it just feels like it's wasting time at this point since i have the means to defend myself possibly better than i would in any other method like if i could get out of the land stalker that would be nice and then i could just you know take these guys out one at a time with my lovely rifle that i love but you know what's actually a vehicle we've not seen in a long time? The Puma. We haven't seen that since Zarathos, of all places. So, whatever happened to that? Did Dreadzone find that it really wasn't worth to keep using the Puma or something? I don't know. I mean, we've not used it at all. Okay, are we almost... Come on, die. There we go. I got rid of those two, and now we got to get rid of the big guy. All right, that got rid of you. And now let's get rid of you. Die. If I sound really bored, it's because... I, I don't know. It's Something about Stygia always sort of kills my mood. I think this is why I really haven't played this game all that much. And it's not helping since I've been playing this for a while. But, I mean, take, for example, Kingdom Hearts. I have been power recording through that. And at this point, I have still not put up a single episode for that. I'm already over halfway through the game. And I'm already level 60 and can buy every single uh, item that you can synthesize in the shop at that time. And I've barely finished um, Beast Castle for the second time. So, and I, I just can't put that game down. I don't know why. I guess it, it goes more probably into my whole thing of I have to be in a mood for a game. Which is something I hate in all honesty because... I'm jealous of people who just pick up any game and then just start playing it. For me, I have to be in a mood to play a certain game, and that really just gets irritating after a while when you really want to play something else. But, oh well. In the meantime, I uh, keep going through as my... Oh, oh, geez, my hand's falling asleep. Why is my hand falling asleep? My hand should not be falling asleep. I'm constantly moving my fingers. It, it's more like my fingers are falling asleep. I don't get why they're doing that. All right, so... Ah, great, now we gotta deal with all of these guys. Oh my god, now we gotta deal with all of these guys. Come on. This is just padding at this point. Because unfortunately, I can't get out of the Land Stalker. If I could, then this would probably go a lot easier. Alright. Bots are. That's dead. Oh, look, more of these big guys. Who I can't just ignore because they will do enough damage to where I can't move forward. There we go. Luckily, these things only go down in one shot, so... Oh, great! Two more! 
Come on. Keep going. I think actually there's another Landstalker mission inside this world too. That's something I'm not looking forward to. Come on. Kill it. There we go. Right now let us destroy the turret. And destroy you. Which is why the automatic targeting reticle ended up jumping suddenly and hitting the guy who was jumping out of the ship instead of the ship, to where if I had just blown up the ship, I wouldn't have to deal with these guys. Oh, will you two stop falling? Okay, this is starting to get hectic. I gotta jump forward on this one. Because if I die again, I gotta start this whole mission over again. And I feel like I've been on this mission for like 10 minutes. And I know I've not been, I've probably only been on it for like five or six, but it still feels long and drawn out. Right? Come on. No! No! Blow that up! Blow that up! Blow that up! There! That's what I was trying to do. Let's see how long. Five minutes, and it, that just felt too long. Maybe I'm just becoming impatient. Who knows?